All right, so let me start off with the uh, desk here um, on the side. Um, you know, it's got a whole bunch of stuff, uh, mainly remotes. Um, the remotes are for my TV, my AVR, my Blu-ray player, my CD player, uh, the obvious four, and um, some other stuff, you know, like blowers to uh, blow dust off of uh, equipment and whatnot, and uh, my camera here, and the uh, Dolby, Dolby Atmos uh, sign there that so it's a basically a sticker. And here's my uh, 3D glasses um, for my uh, LG OLED 4K TV. I am very glad I grabbed the last of its kind, the 2016 model. And here is a, a overview. Here is a here is the overview of my uh, entire system. It's a 5.0 system, so I am lacking a subwoofer. But as you can see, I have huge fronts, so. Um, in my opinion, they cover a uh, ton of bass, so at the moment, um, you know, it doesn't really require uh, a sub. But look at the finish on this thing, it is beautiful. It's, it's, like, it's like 20 coats of black, and I think that's what brings the price up on these. Um, and it's looking really, really beautiful. And here's the grill itself. Um, it's got little four pegs. Here's the driver. And those little white lines, those are actual wooden fibers. Um, the, the cone itself is paper, but it's got wooden fibers to uh, reinforce the structure of it. And it's got the soft dome tweeter and the ribbon tweeter that goes up to like 27,000 hertz. And the uh, base ports on the back, it's ported, it's not sealed speaker. And it's got the sticker with the signature of the person that inspected the speaker. And of course, as always, you can buy amp it, buy wire it, whatever you want. And here's the main uh, center speaker. It is the uh, Opticon Vocal. Uh, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that right. It's a beautiful looking piece. It's also got ribbon tweeters like many of the uh, high-end Dali uh, speakers. And um, I'm not sure if it goes as high as 27,000 hertz or not, but um, they, are, they are very beautiful sounding speakers. And for my surrounds, I have also a Dolly uh, speaker. They are called the Altico or Altico. Um, not sure on the pronunciation again on that part and as you can see it's kind of slanted you know um, and you can and it has two options you can make it sound like a normal speaker or you can uh, change you can switch it to uh, kind of um, shoot the sound downwards to your main uh, seating location like where I'm sitting very close to the wall and here's the uh, Oppo blu-ray player um, not much explanation needed for that um, here and here's my AVR NR1608 I believe very uh, low profile and that's the reason I got it but it doesn't have much power so I'm powering my fronts using my uh, Cambridge audio integrated amp which should uh, give enough power to my Helicon uh, speakers and here's my CD player which is also a Cambridge audio the 851C um, very uh, nice sounding CD player and in the front wall uh, right behind my uh, OLED I have these uh, room acoustic uh, panels they're really thin and I, I'm gonna need a lot more than this but they're supposed to absorb sound and uh, get rid of uh, echoes and reverbs and whatnot but I'm looking into a uh, getting a uh, bigger panels for a better room acoustics all right, so um, that's about it. And um, if you have any uh, suggestions, questions about my gear, um, please do leave comments below. And I will see you on my next video. All right, bye.